Hi everyone, my name is Francis Laniel and today I will present you how porting an eBPF core tool to ARM64 leaded to fix a bug in the kernel. In my work, I use BPF2Go. According to the project README, BPF2Go enables you to compile a C source file into eBPF bytecode and then emits a Go file containing the eBPF. So, BPF2Go permits you to call eBPF code from Golang executable. By calling internally Clang, BPF2Go can generate eBPF bytecode for several architectures, among others AMD64 and ARM64. In the remaining of this presentation, we will focus on the ARM64 architecture. In my case, I wanted to port Inspector Gadget to ARM64. Inspector Gadget is a set of eBPF tools which can be used to monitor and debug a Kubernetes cluster. First, I generated the eBPF bytecode using BPF2Go. Then, I cross-built our container image with Docker buildx. Finally, I ran our integration test and realized some gadgets were not working. Indeed, the trace exec gadget, which monitored the call to the exec VEC score family done on your cluster, printed nothing. More particularly, the eBPF code linked to syscall enter exec v was executed, but not the one linked to syscall exit exec v. As a consequence, I built an ARM64 kernel, ran through QMU, and attached GDB to it to trace what was happening. On the middle of the screen, you can see the kernel call stack when you, for example, run ls from bash. As bash calls exec, you first enter into the kernel in the exec VEC call. Then you will jump into do exec v at command kernel function. As ls is a binary executable, the exec bin prm function is called. Since select executable format is elf, the load elf binary function is called. This function contains the macro start thread, which is defined for each architecture. In the case of ARM64, this macro expands to start thread. This function in turn is called start thread command. In this function specific to ARM64 architecture, the forget syscall function is called. This function sets the ARM64 register containing the syscall number to an invalid value. As a consequence, the tracing of the syscall exit cannot occur because print syscall exit checks the syscall number and nothing will be reported as it is invalid. The upstream fix mainly consists in not forgetting the syscall number and remembering about it after setting all the registers to zero as a new thread is about to start. For non-upstream kernel, a workaround was written by using kprobe. This workaround permits running exec snoop and trace exec on all kernel, but the command argument will not be reported. For example, when you run ls-al, exec snoop will print ls but not dash al, contrary to the normal behavior. As a conclusion, a kernel bug was fixed upstream. Note that this bug was backported to all stable kernels. So, you can now trace exact VEC score family on ARM64 hardware. Also, Inspector Gadget was ported to ARM64. In the future, we plan to test the ARM64 port of Inspector Gadget to several platforms to be able to catch particularly specific bug. I would also like to thank Jeremy Piotrowski for his help finding this kernel bug. I thank you a lot for your attention and feel free to ping me in the chat if you have any questions.